Hello hockey fans, Chris Terrell here with RotorPros.com to bring you another DFS NHL video for Saturday, January 23rd. If you're not a RotorPros member, make sure to get over to RotorPros.com This is where you're going to find all of our free content. We've got articles for PGA NHL up right now. We've got MMA articles coming in Slack here shortly as well for the big UFC 257. And if you want to get in and get our premium content, click the sign up button top right hand corner and get a weekly, monthly, or yearly subscription free trial with all three of those and if you use promo code rp50 today you will get 50 percent off after that free trial is up on your first payment <clears throat> with that let's jump into today's picks so looking at the sheet um i've added a few things today we'll start out by looking at the team matchups here as you can see we've got, we've got three games with five and a half totals one with the six one with the six and a half tampa bay columbus is early if you want to play that game it's either going to be showdown or all day slate over on FanDuel. so mainly we're going to be concentrating on the four game slate here tonight first thing that stands out obviously montreal and this vancouver matchup they have faced each other each of the last two games combined for 21 goals, and Montreal's offense is just absolutely insane so far this year, ranked number three, while Vancouver's is 31st dead last defense. So that's going to be a really good matchup to target here. <clears throat> Obviously where the chalk's going to fall, but the value is just there across the board with Montreal, um, where you can go in and fit uh, studs at other positions quite easily and pay up for goalie once again. Second place that stands out for me, Winnipeg here again. Um, that game's got a six total, so those are definitely going to be the top two games that I'm going to be targeting today. Winnipeg comes with some top guys um, in turn, like they traded Line A this morning, so that's going to put even more on that top line when you got Wheeler, Shifley, and Connor. Um, that's going to be one of the best lines in the NHL in terms of offense. I'm going to be targeting that one for sure against Ottawa's not so good defense, ranked 26 so far this year. Um, Ottawa on the other side of things isn't such a good spot uh winnipeg's defense has been decent so far ranked 11th overall but they have a ton of value uh shot volume that really stands out um something i'm going to be adding to the sheet going forward as well is what a team gives up in terms of shots i'm just kind of looking that over here Win winnipeg is up to seventh most shots 33 and a half per game um, also looking at this slate philadelphia gives up the most shots 39 per game uh that is just absolutely insane so far so Keep that in mind uh, when looking at that. I'm going to be adding that to the sheet. So we'll get into uh, the goalies here in the rankings. Vasilevsky, obviously, number one on that early slate. But looking at the main slate, uh, the one that stands out, first of all, in the rankings, Jordan Bennington, minus 200 favorite. He's the most expensive, but he's going to be pretty much a lock on FanDuel at 7,300. You could definitely go you know, a bit of savings if you wanted to on DraftKings, but I still see a route easily with the value that I talked about with Montreal and Ottawa um, and it being a smaller slate. And you know, we don't have the Ovechkins, Tampa Bays on the early slate. A lot of those expensive players, McDavid, they're not on this slate, so we, we don't really need as much savings. So Bennington is going to be my top goalie. What I added here uh, for today's sheet We've got the all skaters tab. So before it was just centers, wingers, and defense. Um, I found when I was down to my final two spots on FanDuel or final spot on DraftKings and we're looking at that utility, it, I was bouncing between these tabs. So I wanted to put it all together, kind of like NBA where all the players are on one tab. We can compare defense, wingers, and centers all side by side with the price range. It's sorted by DraftKings, but if you do make your own copy, you can come over here and sort by FanDuel if you want as well. And then I also added... Um, my top stacks so it's going to give you the team I'm stacking up top um, that team we got the odds the projected goals that team's offensive rank the opponent's defensive rank that differential that we talked about you can find the same information from the matchups tab power play versus penalty kill scoring chances versus scoring chances against for the opponent um, just some key information that I like to look at when looking at GPP stacks then we've got the four players their salaries on both sites their goals assist power play points um, power play time on ice, shots per 60, Corsi 4 per 60, also called shot attempts. If you've got questions about Corsi shot attempts, definitely hit me up in chat. Um, that's some advanced stats that we can use. Uh, works out really well in terms of trying to find your shot volume and overall usage. Scoring chances, and then of course high danger scoring chances, which are just more congested in front of the net. Then I've got some notes over here for the teams that I'm going to be stacking. Um, and then down here below is the combined salaries. 
and then we're looking at uh, the combined goals assists. So you can just kind of compare between teams. Like the second stack I got here is Boston, simply because um, over here I got a great matchup for Boston power play as Philly takes the third most minor penalties and ranks 24th in penalty killing, while Boston power play is ranked 12th. Philly also has given up, I uh, spelled wrong here, a league high 39 shots per game. Um, notes up here for Winnipeg why I like the Winnipeg power play. It struggled early in the year. It's ranked 23rd overall. But over the last two games versus Ottawa, um, Ottawa has taken 12 minor penalties. They've had 12 power play opportunities. They've only scored once in those 12. I see positive regression coming in that area. Just That's too talented of a top power play unit to continue a 1 for 12 kind of rate. So I'll, that's new to the sheet. So my picks personally will be on the All Skaters tab and then my top stacks on the top stacks tab. And then we, if you want to go individual positions, we still got the centers, wingers, and defense tabs. And then Ryan will have his top targets. He ranks the top five players at goalie, center, winger, and defense, as well as his top stacks on that tab, probably mid-afternoon, two to three hours before the slate locks. So that covers everything for today. If you got any questions on anything new, any suggestions on things you guys want to see, comment in the video below. Make sure to like it. Hit that subscribe button and the bell. Uh, you'll be able to get notifications when more videos come out. we got NASCAR coming back soon. Uh, there's going to be PGA videos coming out every week, kind of a first look on Monday, Monday afternoon, Monday evening, somewhere in there. Um, so a lot more videos to come. Thanks for watching. Let's go get some green screens. Good luck tonight, everyone.